Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to create more pages and routes. So in the previous lecture we coded all of this. Now for now, so far we just have one template and that is the home.html. But I would like to create some more pages as, as well as routes. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a topic route so I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna say app uh, okay let's come down here let's grab the at app dot route so whatever you want to pass in as the URL that's totally up to you I'm going to pass in topic slash then the topic ID so we are going to trace topics based on their IDs and what is the view function that is going to be responsible for this uh, is going to be the view function by, by the name of display tasks. So we do have a view, uh, view function that is going to display all of our topics. We do need one to display all of our tasks. And these tasks, they're dependent on their specific topics. So for each topic, we are going to have a different task. So I'm going to I'm going to pass in the topic ID here because based on this topic ID we are going to show the tasks relevant for this topic. And I'm going to say return render template. What is the template that we want to render? It is going to be topic and topic-tasks.html which we are yet to create. And then this uh, topic ID is going to be this template variable that I'm going to pass in here. And I'm going to set it to the topic ID value. So this, uh, the key to this keyword argument, this part on the left, this is going to come from our template. And the part on the right, the value for that is going to come from the parameter of this function. Now let's go into the templates folder and I'm going to create topic-tasks.html so topic-tasks.html there we go now in here first let's generate a boilerplate and within the boilerplate i'm going to provide the title which is going to be uh, topic tasks and then what do we want to do here now again the data that i'm providing here are going to be highly static these are not dynamic data because for now I just want to show something on the screen then we are going to fetch data from our uh, database Postgres database so we have a UL LI we have task 1 and I'm going to pass in 2 as well as 3 now I would like to handle the form uh, for uh, which is responsible for creating new tasks and that is going to be add a new task we have a form which is going to submit to add slash task we have not created this URL but we are going to create it and we are going to pass in topic underscore ID as this variable this template variable Let's set the method to post as well, just to make sure everything is going to go smoothly. Now, again, in here, I'm going to have a div. And within the div, I'm going to have a label. We are going to have label for now, but I'm going to remove it later. And this is going to basically say task. Let's grab an input, which is going to have a type of text. And the name is going to be task-description. Description. There we go. And finally, we need to have a submit button. When the user fills out the form, the user must have the ability to submit it as well. So it's going to be add task. There we go. Let's save that. And let's save this one as well. Let's see the changes in here. And now, whenever uh, I reload this page and I click on any topic, we should be redirected to that URL, which we are not actually being redirected to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the server and then I'm going to run it on this file, not the previous one. So let's just rename this, copy the name, put it right here. So Python, the name of the file, .py. So for Django, this was easy. Why? Because we just had one file that we need to run the server on and that was the uh, manage.py. But for Flask, whichever file has all the... Um, the routes and the view functions, you need to run that uh, 
file. So now let's come in here. I see a typo there. TH capital H. It's going to be lowercase h. Let's save that. Reload the page. There we go. So if I click on it, you can see for any t for any topic, we have three tasks. Why do we have three tasks? Because these are the uh, hard-coded tasks that I've provided right here. Later on in this section, what we are going to do is these tasks are going to be fetched from the database, a Postgres database. Now, what I would like to do is I'm going to add two more uh, two more view functions and routes in here as well. Uh, the first route is going to handle the addition of new topics, and the second route is going to handle the addition of new tasks. So I'm going to say app dot route. Make sure to spell it correctly. And what is going to be the addition of new top uh, new topics? It is going to be this route. So that is what I'm going to add. So it is topic slash now what comes after the slash is actually the topic uh the uh topic it's uh, okay no no sorry this is not it this is the addition of the topics because this is the the action the action attributes value that we provided in the form so we need to have slash add slash topic so where is it so i'm going to say slash add slash topic there we go. Now, whenever the user fills up the form and submits it, it is going to be a, the method is going to be post. So I'm just going to add it post in here. So the view functions. Now, the way these view functions work is by default, they can handle uh, all the get requests. But if the request is any other request other than get, you need to specifically provide it. So the view function can handle it. I'm going to create a view function here that is going to say add topic. Now, there are going to be two functionalities in here. The first one is going to be the add topic functionality, which we are going to lay, we are going to accomplish later. For now, what I want to do is I just want to return to the screen what? Just a simple string that is going to say topic added uh, successfully. There we go. Basically, I just want to show this to the user. So if we go back to the main page, reload the page, and let's say we just enter something. And whenever we click on it, it says topic added successfully. So this is what we have done so far. I'm going to create uh, now again, the uh, topic addition functionality will be handled later in this chapter, in this section. Next up, I'm going to create a view function to handle the addition of uh, tasks so after route what is going to be the url the url is going to be let's go there so it's going to be add slash add slash task slash whatever the id of that topic is so let's come in here let's say uh, slash add slash top uh, sorry task slash uh, the topic id that we have so each task is going to be dependent on a certain topic id on a certain topic and the methods for this one is going to be post as well we need to uh, specify it explicitly so this is going to say add task and we know that this function is going to take a parameter which is going to be the id of the topic to which we want to add this now again the add functionality will be added will be coded later and then what i want to do is i want to return a message that is going to say task added successfully okay an extra u here add task functionality is going to be handled later so we are all done in here now if i click on this we can see we we have this topic added successfully if i go back let's refresh the page let's go to any uh, topic for any topic we should have all three tasks now in here if i try to add a task number four it is not going to add it of course but what it is going to do is it's going to show us that message task added successfully and then it is going to give us the id for to which topic this task belongs so i'm going to go over this one more time 
So if I refresh this, this page, now let's say I click on this topic number three. When I hover on it, uh, bottom left corner of my browser, you're going to see the URL. The URL is that localhost slash 55 colon 5533 slash top slash three. So what is the topic ID? The topic ID is three. So if I click here, you can see the topic ID is here as well. And now let's say I want to add this task number four. So this task four is going to be added to which topic? To the topic which has an ID of three. So this three in the address bar that I've highlighted, it comes from the ID of that topic. That's why in the task addition, uh, that's because in the task addition we have added that, that topic ID. So with this our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.